Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Um, my name is Basa Malabasi. I'm the owner of Dan Refined Skin Clinic here in London and um, I wanted to come on to do a little video about the different options that we may be able to consider for uh, relieving dry cracked hands as a result of all this excessive hand washing that we're having to do due to the coronavirus outbreak. So usually I would have done this video from my clinic but um, which would have been under normal circumstances of course but we are not in normal circumstances we are at home and the reason why we are at home because we are in lockdown and the reason why we're in lockdown is because we need to ensure that we have our social distancing in place to um, bring and slow down the uh, transmission of this virus so that's one way of doing it the next way of doing it is to ensure that we wash our hands so um, and hand washing is um, a big contributor to the dry hands that we are experiencing these days so let's go back to the beginning and look at why we need to be washing our hands so to do that we look at the virus itself now the virus looks like a spherical structure inside it there there's the information material that's needed for replication surrounding it is an outer membrane which is a lipid membrane and then spiking from it are the protein, the viral proteins, which are responsible for signaling. Now, I have to bear in mind that these are they look the they look like little crowns, hence the name coronavirus. So, what we've got to bear in mind is that the virus behaves like a parasite. So, although we are at its mercy, it depends on us for its life form. So without us it cannot propagate it cannot live not for long anyway so it, it may be outside it may have a, a lifespan of hours or days but it cannot replicate or live without a host and we are a host so in order to stop that we know that we hold the power and one of which we can do it is through washing our hands but if we wash our hands with only water then we are not going to get anywhere either and why is that? Because going back to the structure of the virus, it has an outer lipid, which behaves more like a, uh, an oil droplet. So this outer lipid membrane behaves more like an oil droplet. So if we have a look at what happens between oil and water, and I'm not doing a miraculous experiment here, guys. All I'm doing is demonstrating what we know already. So we put a little bit of oil, I mean, a little bit of water, sorry, and oh, I, I, I yeah, have to take, take the lid off, that helps. So it's a little bit of oil, and here we are, got oil and water. It doesn't really mix, it doesn't mix at all. So we can shake it, shake it, and nothing happens. It still stays water on the top, or oil on the top, water on the bottom. So then we go and put some detergent. Here we go, so some detergent. We find some detergent in there in the form of fairy, but it could have to be any detergent, all soaps are detergents, and we mix it up. So now it's all mixed up, we can see that we have a nice little emulsion and it's completely dissolved. So, it's, so soap dissolves oil, breaking it down. When it's broken down, it's then drained away. How, why does it do this? Well, it does this because a soap structure has an, a, um, a hydrophilic end and a lipophilic tail, or a hydrophilic end and a hydrophobic tail, or a lipophobic tail head and a lipophilic tail. So you basically what it means with all of that, try and say that when you've had a little too many, it's not going to work out. So, so what it means is that you have got um, a Philic end, which is affiliated, a hydrophilic end, which is affiliated to the water, affiliated, we, when we're affiliated, we like something, we will go towards it, and a hydrophobic tail, which is a phobic, phobia, we don't like it, so that is affiliated to the oil. So when you mix oil and um, water and then put soap in it, you're going to get something like that. So you're going to have the heads of the soap goes towards the water, the tails of the soap dissolve the oil molecule here, completely making it um, smaller and smaller and it becomes into an emulsion. And they, which you see in the science world, soap is known as something called surfactant and that these are ingredients that um, 
lowers the surface tension of liquid to liquid but that I'm not gonna bore you with the science but that's what it means but what it means is it actually allows a marriage between the oil and the water so you get this emulsion of what you see so why is it important for the virus well the virus let's go back to the viral um, picture it has an outer lipid membrane so it does exactly the same as it does with the oil when soap is added it uh, breaks down all these oil outer oil uh, membrane and then inside the RNA which is a ribonucleic acid just falls out and it gets washed into the drain so that's great I hear you say fantastic well we'll just do a quick wash then we go well, actually, that's not the case because they have a tendency to stick. So we need to make sure we wash our hands effectively. Now, what does that mean to you and I? Well, nothing less than 20 seconds and nothing less than singing a happy birthday twice. Um, and that's actually uh, what we are required to do. It is the, it's, uh, scientifically proven that using a 20 second rule with the right technique of hand washing, which you will find everywhere on the internet, of how to wash your hands effectively, is the, is the uh, process that's required to effectively remove all the virus, all the virus, not just some of it, but all of it from your hands. So. With all that hand washing that we're doing, we are going to impact on our, our skin. And our skin is so important to us because not only it stops the outside um, debris and the pathogens from entering, but it stops the water or other temperature, etc. But in this case, we look at the water from being lost. So we always talk about the epidermal layer and trans-epidermal water loss. Well, the epidermal layer, which is the epidermal barrier function, has to be nice and uniform and uh, normal skin it is when the skin is not compromised. So, we, it tends to look like this, which is a uniform wall and it actually um, has a wonderful moisture in it. Nothing's going in there, nothing's coming out. It's nice and healthy. It's nice and moisturized. A... a um, Wall that's compromised, which is like this one, is dry, it's withered, you're going to have a lot of water loss from it and the chance of pathogens from coming inside um, as a result of the cracked skin. And the last thing we want to do now in this, in this day and age with a lot of viruses is to create another infection on our hands. So, hands that are cracked, hands that are sore, hands that are itchy, hands that are rough, we are not going to, we're going to we're going to feel quite a lot of discomfort. That might make us less inclined to wash our hands. That might reduce our adherence to hand washing. And that would be a very dangerous place to be in. Now, we don't want to be in this situation. So we need to make sure that we are hydrated, that our hands are relieved because washing our hands is incredibly important to make sure we slow the transmission of that virus. We get rid of that virus. So when it comes to using soap versus using ha um, hand sanitizers, well, hand sanitizers um, to effectively uh, disintegrate the integrity of the viral outer layer, it needs to have a, con um, that's for the alcohol hand, hand sanitizers, it needs to have an alcohol content between 60 and 95%. So anything less than that, such as vodka, the alcohol in vodka, which would be about 40%, is not effective um, to comp compromise the integrity of that virus. So do we use hand sanitizers instead of soap? Well, actually, the answer is no, because uh, we are recommended to make sure that we use hand, uh, hand, uh, hand soap to wash our hands rather than hand sanitizers. The only time we have to be thinking about using hand sanitizers is when we don't have the opportunity to wash our hands. So hand washing is the most preferred option to effectively remove the virus from our hands. So um, that's one question I always get asked sanitizers versus hand wash the answer is hand wash every time keep your hand sanitizers always handy uh, making sure that you don't uh, like if you're caught out 
that you've got something there to, as a, a protective measure. But always, always hands, hand wash, hand sanitizers, and never a substitute for it. So we know that we need to protect our um, skin barrier function. So when it comes to situations like this, I always tend to go back to basics. And my basics is actually what I would use if um, it, it, on an everyday um, in situations like this. And I tend to go back to the basics of the emollients. So let's have a look at what we have on offer. And also um, I'll give you some more names as well. But what we have is, is as, as follows. So what I've got here is E45, fantastic, non-perfumed. It does the job what it's supposed to do and it's available in various sizes from the ones who isolate alone in their own homes to family size isolations. So it ha you've got it in, in various sizes from, from 50 to 500 grams and somewhere in the middle. So that's one option. The second option is one that I tend to use personally and I love it, it's called Banyan Plus. And that's available at 100 gram, but more um, favorably actually is the 500 gram as well. Now the 500 gram, you can actually use it as a pump dispenser and it gives you the, the meter dose that you need and it keeps it nice and clean because in this day and age, I wouldn't like to be putting my hand in a pot. So it's nice to have a, a cream that is actually um, in a pump dispenser, vacuumed, filled pump dispenser, airtight. So it gives you the, the, uh, the amount that's needed. And that's called Balloon Plus. Have a look, Balloon Plus cream. The third option is something called Dermacool. Now, I do love Dermacool because Dermacool not only has menthol, which is cooling, but all, which is hence the name Dermacool, but it also has, um, it's an SLS free formula. So SLS stands for sodium lauryl sulfate. And some people are allergic to this. Now this is, um, a foaming agent as well or some sort of a it is it's a it's a, an ingredient that is also used in shampoos and conditioners and you know it's it's an ingredient that can cause allergies for some so a lot of manufacturers have decided to um, include preparations that are sodium laurel sulfate free and this is really good to use if you happen to be allergic to this ingredient but just bear in mind that some people may be allergic to the menthol. Not all, not many, but it's worth mentioning. Then you have something called Zero Cream. Now Zero Cream also has an SLS formula, as you can see, or is it there? No, it is here, SLS formula. So if you are some soils and you can, you're allergic to the menthol part, you've got SLS formula here, SLS free formula. The final one that I have with me, which I tend to always um, recommend as well, is Cetaphil. Now this is a great product. It, it's available in hand washes, skin washes, face washes. It even has a sun cream um, and it is non-comedogenic and it's hypoallergenic and it's really a good product to have, to be honest with you. And I and I tend to recommend it to, to my clients. It's something that you can find in most high streets, uh, they would actually stock it on the shelf, shelf floor. You don't need to uh, be searching long and wide for it. Uh, so it's called Cetaphil. So Cetaphil comes in this form, which is a wash, and also can have a moisturizer. Um, others that I feel that I need to mention are uh, Dermal 500. No, Dermal 500 can be used as a soap substitute and a moisturizer. It's a fantastic product and it has an antibacterial. So it's really worth uh, thinking about Dermal 500. And also it does have, it also comes in shower gels, it comes in uh, pump, you know, um, hand wash, it does all of those. So um, Dermal 500 is a fantastic product. Then you also have something called um, Epiderm, which is a moisturizer. Uh, Citroban is another moisturizer. Um, Hydromol is another moisturizer or the bog standard aqueous cream as well. All of those are, are emollients that are non-perfumed and they are major uh, half allergenic. Now, a lot of them are available in prescription, but please do not go and get it on prescription because you won't be seen. 
because our priority is right now about saving lives and dealing with with the norm that's happening i mean the other diseases don't go away so so we have to make sure that our medical staff are equipped with with the with the time that they need so they need to prioritize it what you can do that these all these ingredients all these preparations are available from your local chemist please make sure you utilize your local chemist they are an essential service for you and they are open no appointments necessary what I would suggest you do if you really want to be looking for these items and you're unsure that you are, um, if your local chemist has it, don't, you know, go and make that phone call, speak to your local chemist, ask them to order it for you and then they uh, are able to do so, then you're going to pick it up, minimizing the number of times that you need to be going out of your house because essentially we need to make only minimum trips outside. So. I hope that helps. The ingredients, uh, the, the preparations are there. If you want to play the tape back, you will get to see which ones are which. But if you need to uh, get any more information, please don't hesitate to contact me at info at damrefine.com and also you can message me at, um, in, at damrefine here. You can message me here on Instagram or Facebook at damrefine. I'll be available there as well. So. All I can say to you is please stay safe, practice social distancing, self-isolate and stay at home you lot, stay at home. This is the only way we can really um, manage to flatten the curve, decrease and slow the spread of this virus, allow our NHS staff and our medical staff to really work um, to manage to combat the virus right about now they're they are so stretched they cannot cope with any more unnecessary admissions and we really need to help them out so um all the best hopefully we'll um fingers crossed i'm positive that we will beat this um in the meantime stay safe and i will see you soon take care bye bye